Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the external matte saver node. And this is another node that's only available in Fusion Studio. It's not available in DaVinci Resolve. So you can jump over to Blackmagic and download Fusion Studio and you can use it for free. Or if you have a key for DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can use your key and it'll activate this as well. So jumping into Fusion Studio, we've got a little setup here. So a lot of times in the production world, we have multiple people working on things. So we might have one person doing all our keying and creating mats and getting everything ready for say color grading or VFX. And that's what the external mat saver node is for. So in this little example, just real quick, I set up this green slash blue screen. So I just did a Delta cure on the green screen, a Delta cure on the blue screen and set up a uh, bitmap for the suit. And then we've got our uh, little alpha for our green screen, our alpha for our computer monitor, which was our little blue screen, and our alpha for our suit, which I added some polygons in a multi-merge to uh, take it out. And the reason I used all these uh, matte control nodes is just to bring them out, rename them, and uh, do any control in here. Like I inverted the matte to make sure our green screen is the actual matte. Because when we go to our little Delta cure, it's actually creating a mat on our subject or our foreground. And I just wanted to flip that to make our green screen the actual mat. And then I named them all appropriately because uh, when we bring in the external mat saver node, it's going to use these last nodes as the names. So let's go ahead and bring in an external mat saver node. On our external mat saver node, we have a single input right now and up top we have the ability to change our file name so i'm going to select browse and i'm just going to save it in my little external mat saver folder i had here and i'm just going to name it mats underscore zero one and i want to make sure i put dot e x r afterwards i'm going to hit save so when we export these out this is where our little exrs are going to save so to bring in the mats all we have to do is start connecting them so i'm going to connect our first mat to our external saver node. And if I go up to our mats tab, you can see we've got a little mat coming in. And right here on this drop down, we can select whether we want it to be our alpha, RGB, or RGB and alpha. I'm gonna leave it on alpha. Right here, we can rename our node. And this is the actual name of the node coming in. So green screen, green screen. So I can double click in here and just rename this green screen. So when we export this out, our layers will be named the layer we create right here. So if I needed to add another mat, I just hit the plus sign and it's going to give us a new little input. So I can bring our monitor in, input it. I'm going to rename this monitor. Hit the add button. We're going to add a third little input. And I'm going to input our suit. And I'm going to rename this suit so we've got our three mats and to export these out here in fusion studio all we have to do is hit this little render button and it's going to uh, come up with a pop-up and we're going to hit set render and our render is done so if i go over to davinci resolve and like i said many times we use these for either mats within the color grading tab so your uh, color grader can input these mats that you created but we're going to bring them into fusion so in Fusion, we can uh, go find our original footage here, which was uh, this little guy here on a green screen, checking out his blue screen laptop. And then we can bring in our little mats. So I'm gonna hit shift space at a loader node, and it's gonna pop up to our folder. We're gonna find it and we've got our mats. And if we look, we've got our mats. If I go to our format tab over here, if we go to our parts, We've got our green screen, our monitor, and our suit. And I can use these mats however I would normally use mats in a project. So I could easily just bring this into my little media input. And you notice it didn't do anything because on our loader node, we wanna make sure we go to our channels. And for some reason, uh, Fusion never brings in our alpha channel correctly. So we just gotta find suit alpha as our alpha channel. 
Same with if we were using green screen, notice our alpha channel is in the selected. We just got to select green screen and same with our monitor select monitor. And if you need to go back and forth, um, it's going to lose that alpha channel again. So if I go back to our green screen, you notice I got to reselect my little green screen there. So sometimes it's easier just to uh, copy this node, paste it, and we can go to uh, each one, hit F2, rename to uh, Matt Green Screen, F2, rename to Matt Monitor, F2, Matt Suit. And then we can go to each one of these and make sure we're selecting the correct channel. So we'll go to our monitor format monitor format suit change our alpha to suit so now we've got all of our little mats ready to go so that is the external mat saver i will see you in the next no breakdown